to uh, go change the fan cycle switch on an ice machine. It's been busy today. Yeah, my AC's on. It's like 4.13 in the afternoon. It got warm today. I gotta head out to Kim's mom's house tomorrow and fix her air conditioner. She's out in Clear Lake, California. I'll show you that on a map later. I think it's a four hour and 20 minute drive. And it looks like either the capacitor for the condenser fan motor failed or the condenser fan motor failed. So I'm gonna go out there. I think I'll get the, uh, I think I'll go through their system with the Measure Quick app. So stay tuned for that. Let's go get into this, um, this little Manitowoc. Yeah. I like what you do. I'm back out where I jumpered out the fan cycle switch. You can see it made ice for him. I got the new switch. I'm going to scoop the ice out into the cooler. And then I'll show you guys how to get this bin off of these, uh, these little Neos. And then we'll, uh, it'll be all exposed down there and we can make our repair. Now I don't do it the way Manitowoc tells you to do it for warranty because I just have terrible luck with pinch off tools so I don't use them. But I'll show you how I do it, it's no big deal. Just you do it your way, I'll do it my way and it'll all be good in the end. There's your factory instructions. I had to take the bin off, I just posted it, a picture. So you're going to take that bottom louver off, two screws, has the air filter right here. Um, it's the two screws. This comes off. You'll disconnect your wire here for your uh, control pad. And the popping bushing will come out with it. You disconnect your drain is right here. There's two of these connectors, one on each side. Those come off. And your bin will slide forward and come off. Um, and I'll take it all the way off here. Hang in there. I'm going to set it down right here. And then there's the bin. It just slides right off. And then here's everything. Your condenser to clean. There's your filter dryer. Hot gas valve. There's the fan cycle switch. I know someone on the last video asked, what did I do to bypass it? Okay. I made a little jumper wire. You can see I had my plastic connectors on there so nothing was short out. The two purple wires are on the fan cycle switch. I had removed those and then installed my jumper. And that's how I had bypassed it. So this switch here is going to get replaced. Okay, what Manitowoc wants you to do under warranty is to use a pinch off tool on here. Pinch it off, cut it, and then add your new switch, either with the coupling or, I don't know if it comes swedged or not, we'll have to take a look at it. The sweat it back in and then pop it open. Um, I'm gonna take the long way and I'm gonna recover the charge, cut it, uh, take it out, sweat it in, pull a vacuum, and then um, put the gas back in. The only reason I do that is because it's just me. I have terrible luck with pinch off tools. So I just do it that way so I'm not doing things twice. So it's real simple. Let's go get the Mr. 45 and some gauges and we'll take care of business. Okay, so I went ahead and recovered the charge. It's just how I do it. Um, I cut out the old switch. I'm gonna clean that up, put a coupling on there. And then the new switch and uh, we'll purge nitrogen and then we'll braze it in. And that's how I do it. I'll show you that, guys. Here it is. So I'll get the new switch. I got the heat gel on there, the heat block gel. We got my coupling on there, prepped and ready. I'll get this side welded up first before we go put it on the machine. We got it back together. Uh, I've been running. <clears throat> I didn't film a lot. Um, what I will tell you is when you do get it back up and, and you can gauge up on it, after you weigh your charge back in. You can jumper out the pins number two and seven on the control board where the uh, interface plugs in down here. It's counting from the top, two and then seven with the jumper wire will make the machine come on. Then you can test it before you put it all back and then find out you'll have to take it apart again. 
So that's a little heads up. Uh, as you can hear, the fans are running down. It's about 75 out here today. So the new fan cycle switch is working, and uh, we're making a unicorn batch of ice. It's just starting. <laughs> we'll watch it make a batch and drop here before we uh, call this one good. Oh, and then I got to shovel all the ice back from my cooler back into the bin. I brought my cooler from home. That's my cooler. It holds lots of beers. Or even some, sometimes you can catch a fish and put some dead fish in there. 